Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap youtube channel and in today's video i will show you how you can create a bottom navigation like this so friends video is going to be more important and before start i request you to subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos without any delay let's start so friends first of all you can see that here i have two files in my project folder the one is index.html and the second is style.css and to the right side you will able to see the output so first of all i will create a basic html structure here and here i will give a title to my page bottom navigation next we will link our style.css file with our html code next create an unordered list here with class navigation next i will create a list item here create an a element inside this and next i will create a span element inside this with class icon and here i am going to use font awesome icons in my project to use them first of all open the google and search here font awesome cdn click the first link click on copy link tag and paste the link inside your head section and next if you want to see the font awesome icons library you can open the google and search here font awesome icons click the first link and here i can search for my desired icon like if i will search here home so here you can see that i have several icons that i can use them on my project so to use any icon click on the icon and here you will see a html code here just click on this and paste this html code inside this span element so you can see here a list item with an icon similarly i will create another span element here with class text and here i will type for home so this is our first list item next copy this and paste this four time more here i will type fa shop change the text to shop we have to copy this shop word and paste here and type here fa shop similarly i will change these remaining three three icons and their text so friends here you can see that i have five icons with five different text and the html code for these icons you can see the, them on my screen we have done with our html code next open the style.css and type here star padding zero margin zero and box sizing border box in my project i am going to use google font to use this first of all we need to copy this font or we have to add the link of that font in our css file to do this open the google and search here google fonts click on the first link click on these three bars and select fonts and here i will search for poppins click on the font scroll up and here i will click on select regular 400 click on view selected families click import copy this link and paste this in the first line of your css or you can paste it anywhere next we have to copy this font family property i will paste here and comment this line later we will use this property in our code next copy this body element paste here and type display flex justify content center align item center minimum height 100 vh and background color type this color code so basically these four properties are to align our content exactly at the center position of our screen and this property is assigning a background color to our body element next copy this ul element paste here type dot and next copy this navigation class and paste this class here ul dot navigation means that we have a ul element with class navigation but if i will type a space here so its meaning will be changed it means that we have a navigation class inside our this ul element so make sure to do not add any space between this class and this element next we have to type here display flex justify content center align item center height 120 pixel and width 540 pixel list style none to remove these dots next we have to type here a box shadow property which will make our this bottom navigation beautiful so this is an important property make sure to watch this part of the video with focus so first of all we have to type here box shadow and we are going to use multiple shadow values in this so the first value would be 25 pixel 25 pixel the third value would be 75 pixel it means that how much our shadow will be expand and this is a color property for our shadow so i will type here 0 3 time and 0 0.25 so this was the one shadow value next type here comma and hit the enter button next type here 
टेन पिक्सल टेन पिक्सल सेवेंटी पिक्सल टाइप अ कलर कोड आर जी बी ए जीरो थ्री टाइम एंड द ओपेसिटी वुड बी जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव सो दिस वैल्यू वॉज फॉर आवर सेकेंड शेडो टू आवर दिस कार्ड नेक्स्ट अगेन टाइप अ कोमा हेयर एंड वी हैव टू यूज आवर थर्ड शेडो वैल्यू सो आई विल टाइप हेयर इन सेट इन सेट स्टैंड फॉर दिस शेडो विल बी इन साइड आवर दिस कार्ड सो आई विल टाइप हेयर फाइव पिक्सल फाइव पिक्सल टेन पिक्सल एंड सिंपली कॉपी दिस कलर कोड and paste here and change the opacity to 0.5 so friends you can see a beautiful shadow here next again type here comma copy this shadow value paste here and type 255 in your color code and change the opacity to 0.2 so here you can see a little bit white effect on our card next again we have to type here a comma inset minus 5 pixel minus 5 pixel and 15 pixel spread and simply copy this color code paste here and change the opacity to 0.7 so friends we have to type this shadow property with these multiple values to get the same effect next type here border radius 20 pixel next copy this li element paste here and before this copy this ul dot navigation and paste here here we have to type width 20% so we have set the width of our each list item to 20% next copy this a element paste here and before this copy these words and paste them here type here text decoration none to remove this underline from our text display flags justify content center and align item center to align our each icon and the word exactly at the center position and next we have to type here flex direction colon to align them to top and bottom next copy this icon class inside this a element paste this class here and before this copy these all words and paste them here type here color i will copy this color code paste here and change the opacity to 0.8 so you can see the color of our icons is changed next type here padding 15 pixel and display flex justify content center and align item center next temporarily i will type here a background color like orange next type here width 80 pixel height 80 pixel border radius 50% to round it our corners transition 0.5 second and font size 1.4 rem so you can see our icon font is increased so here you can see that if i will comment these three properties which are css flexbox system properties you can see that our icon will displayed at this position that's why i have added these three properties to align our icon exactly at the center position and transition 0.5 second properties represent then when user will click on the icon it will took 0.5 second to complete its animation from this point to a little bit upper next i will remove this background color property and we have to add the effect that how our this list item will look when it will have an active class so first of all i will give an active class to my first list item next copy these words paste them here and type here li dot active it means that what style we are going to give to our this icon when our list item would have active class so i will type here transform translate y minus 60 pixel so now you can see that our icon is on the top background color so i will choose the same color that i, ha I have assigned to my body element and type here border 10 pixel solid this color code so you can see the output next we have to add the shadow effect on our this black color to do this type here box shadow 5 pixel 5 pixel 7 pixel from here i will copy this color code paste this color code here next again type here a comma copy this value and paste here and here type inset minus 3 pixel minus 3 pixel and 5 pixel and change the opacity to 0.5 next type here comma inset 3 pixel 3 pixel 15 pixel rgba type 255 in three places and change the opacity to 0.2 so by writing this box shadow property you will get this type of shadow effect on your icon next type here color white so this is the code for white color so you can see our icon here next here i have to type one more property which is position absolute so now you can see that our this text which is home will look at this position next i have to give style 
to my this text to do this i will copy this text class and paste this class here and before this i will copy these words and paste them here type here color white font family so font family you can see that we have added a google font here with name poppins so i will copy this font family property and paste here so you can see that the font of our each word is changed next type here transition 0.5 second and display none so by default we will hide our these text but this text will be only visible in the list item with active class so next we have to copy these lines paste them here and type here li dot active and here type display block so now you can see the text here next type here background color copy this color code and paste here and change the opacity to one color black font size 0.8 rem padding 2 pixel from top and bottom and 15 pixel from right and left border radius 10 pixel and next type here box shadow so i will copy this box shadow property and paste here and make some changes like change this to 4 pixel 4 pixel change this to 5 pixel and change this value 2 pixel and 2 pixel and 3 pixel to decrease the effect of box shadow the third property will remain same so friends now you can see that our this text have this type of effect next we have to add one more property here inside this ul dot navigation here type padding 0 for top and bottom and 20 pixel for right and left so here you can see that our this card have 20 pixel of padding from right and left side and it is looking better than before next we have to add some javascript that when user will click on each icon we will add active class on that specific list item so here let me show you how to do this open your html file create a script element here so we can write the javascript code here and type variable list is equal to document dot query selector all and inside this type navigation space list items it means that we have selected all list item as an array in our this list variable type semicolon next we have to create a function here that will add and remove our active class the function name would be active link inside this function type list dot for each type here item this sign press enter and type item dot class list dot remove active next semicolon our this line is a for each that will remove active class from our each list item and next we have to type here this dot class list dot add it means the which list item user have selected just add the active class on that specific list item press semicolon and next outside this function type here list dot for each and inside this type item item dot add event listener click because we will call this function when user will click on our list item so here type comma and type the name of our function which is active link so friends now you can see that when user will click on these list items our the active class will be added to that specific list item and our css style that we have write for our active class will be applied to that specific list item so friends let me show you in a big screen i hope you must enjoy this video if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and share this video with your those friends who want to learn web designing and finally thanks for watching